Hi everyone, this is Kasha and I'm feeling artsy. Today we're going to learn how to draw an Easter basket. A basket with three eggs in it and a bow on top. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this part of the basket and it's pretty much just like drawing a rectangle with round edges. And as you can see mine's not even straight. I'm going to try to do better this time. Um, so first I'm going to draw one straight line. Then I'm going to do a second line that's parallel to it, meaning it's even with the other one, going the same way. And I'm going to round off the edges, the corners, and uh, make a rectangle like this. Um, the second thing I'm going to do is do these braided things. Um, and to do that, you will just make a line like um, this rainbow curved line and then the second one you start somewhere in the middle and go down to the front and then again start somewhere in the middle of this one and middle of this one and middle of this one and you just curve them to the edge and they don't have to be even um, just keep going until you make it to the edge. The second piece we're going to draw is the bottom of the basket. We will start a little bit further in here, not all the way on the edge, and then we will end here. We're going to go down, make a curved corner, go to the bottom, curve again, and go up. And you can make it as big as or as small as you like. Uh, I'm going to make mine about this big. And I'm going to try really hard not to put my hand in the way. And I know you told me last time my hand was getting in the way and you couldn't see. So I'm going to try better this time. The next part I'm going to do, I'm going to do these weavy parts on the basket. To do this one, you, I'm just going to do lines. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four. It should be four. And then again, one, two, three, four, going the other way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you can make them big or small. One, two, three, four. They're a little curved. And then go the other way. One, two, three, four. If you make them bigger, one, two, three, four, you'll have less of them to do. If you make them smaller, you'll have a lot of them. But um, the effect will be the same. It'll just be a little different looking basket. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four is the edge. And if it doesn't fit, then it doesn't fit, and that's fine, because it, it's on the side of the basket and you just can't see it. Three, four. And now, how, see how I'm doing this? The ones that were going this way are going down now. And the ones that were going down before are going to the side this time. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. If your basket was smaller than you're done, if it's bigger, then you'll keep going. Oops, look, I just goofed. Okay, I'm gonna erase these. Because if they were going down, now they should go to the side. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. The next part, we're going to do this loop that goes all the way up. And it's the handle. So you go up and you carve and you go down and then you do the second one. Um, actually, I'm going to do the outer one first. So I'm going to go up and curve and go down and curve and then do a second line next to it just like that one curve and then down um, to do the bow I'm going to erase a piece of the middle here and first I'm going to do this middle part of the bow and it's like a rectangle with curved corners and then I'm going to do the bow pieces. 
And I'm not worried about this because I'm going to erase this. So um, you can do it the same way. And just like last time, I'm using a mechanical pencil, but you can use any pencil. The last thing that I'm going to draw is the eggs. I'm going to draw three just like here. I'm going to do this one first because it's in the front. And it's a little wonky because it's at an angle. And I'm going to put it all the way to the edge of the basket. Then I'm going to do this one behind it. And finally, I'll do that one. And it's behind these two. So whatever you can see, that's what you can see. There you have it. Um, I'm going to decorate my eggs with squiggly lines on this one. Uh, polka dots on the one in the back. I'm going to do lines on this one. And um, a zigzag. And more lines. Here you go. I just drew a basket. The next thing I'm going to do is color it. Um, before I color it, I like to go over the lines with the Sharpie. Uh, it makes it pop more. And um, you can use a Sharpie. You can use um, a regular black marker if your mom doesn't like you to use a Sharpie. They're um, a little scary sometimes. They don't come off. Or you can use a black crayon. Or you can skip this step all together. Um, I'm going to speed through this part and um, you just keep going to your all of your lines and then I'll see you back when we're coloring. So here, my lines are down and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color it. I'm going to use markers because I like markers. Uh, you can use markers, you can use crayons. Oh look, we forgot these lines. These lines here that I did are the lines for the ribbon, the ribbon wraps around it. I'm going to draw them now and I'm just going to use the Sharpie. I'm not going to worry about using the pencil anymore. Um, these lines would only be here if you have the bow. There you go. So when I color, I'm going to color in between these because that's the basket part and that's the ribbon part. Anyway, um, you can use crayons to do this. You can use colored pencils. You can use markers and you can even use paint.
So here we have it. I finished coloring my basket. It's different colors, but that's what makes it fun. It doesn't have to be the same every time. The one thing that you can still do at the end is you can add a line that goes from one side to your basket and then disappears behind your basket and comes out on the other side. And that makes it look like your basket is sitting on a table or on the grass or just somewhere. Um, make sure you comment on the video and let me know if you would like to draw something else. You can also have your mom take a picture of your artwork and post it on Instagram and tag me at feelingrt. That way I can see it or just shoot me an email. I'd love to hear from you.